Hi, this is Kira. I'm the Green Skills Communications Officer. In a previous video, I showed you how to create a login and sign up to use the application forms. Today, we're going to take a quick look at one of our application forms so that you can see how things like the file upload facility works and how the save for later facility works. So let's begin by logging in to use the forms. So this is where you enter your username that you set when you were signing up to use the forms and your password. When you log in, you're brought to your dashboard, which has links to all of the application forms. If you want to complete the application forms in Irish, you just go up here where the union flag and the word English are, and you click on the tricolor and the word Irish. If you if your dashboard comes up in Irish, but you'd like to change it back to English, you just do the same thing. So today we're going to look at the water application form um, as an example, but most application forms follow the exact same structure, which is that they follow the seven steps of the program. So the first page asks you to complete your the details of the school and anything that has a red asterisk beside it must be completed before you can move on to the next step. So for today's purposes, we're just going to create a fake school and we are going to give it a fake address. So let's say that that's in Galway and Galway. So I'm just going to say Mrs. Principal is our principal's name and that the telephone number is 111111. The email address can be the email address that you used to create the account or it can be the email general email address of the school. This is my name and this is my email address. Again, this is my phone number. If you'd like to provide it, please note it doesn't have an asterisk beside it, so it's entirely to your own choice. Let's say we have 50 members of staff and 600 students. It's a big school. So if I tick this box, I declare that the following is a true record of my green skills experience and on submission, I want to apply for the green flag, yes. And this is just a quick checklist for you to have a look at to make sure that you're on the right track towards applying. At this stage, if you'd like to close the form and come back to it at a later date, you can click on save for later, or if you want to begin working on it, you click next. So I'm not gonna go through the whole form. Actually, what's happened here is that I haven't filled in something correctly. So I need to put in a Green Schools coordinator email address and it has to be an actual email address. So let's put that one in because we know that it's an actual email address and then click on next. So the very first step is the Green Schools Committee. I am not going to complete every field or we'll be here all day. So I'm just gonna show you that if you decide that you meet something that doesn't, if you want to click on other, if you don't meet at, at these times, you click on other and put in when you do meet, which might be every three weeks. At this point, you can select your files or drop files for the minutes. You can use any type of file format. It doesn't have to be a document. It doesn't have to be a PDF. It can be a photo. So if I open up my energy application folder, I see that I have a photo of my minutes that I've taken. So I drop that here and it begins to upload. When it's successfully uploaded, it has this red button beside it, which I can click if I want to delete the file. However, I'm, not, I'm quite happy to leave it there, so I don't want to delete it. If you also wanted to upload a document, you can do that. Or you, if you had multiple photos of multiple minutes, you're welcome to put them up there. You can upload a few files. At this stage, again, you can press save for later or click on next. So here there's a lot of ticking of boxes to tell us what you've done in terms of your essential actions and what your levels of awareness were like so i'm not ready to complete some of these things i'll move on to the next step 
So this is where I upload my action plan. Instead of dropping it this time, I'm going to click on select files, which brings me to my desktop where I've kept the folder called energy application. So I want to upload my action plan. I click on action plan and then I click open and that begins the upload of my action plan. Again, if I'm not happy with that action plan and I'd like to add another one or I'm, I want to delete that, I click on the red button, otherwise it stays there. At this stage, I'm quite happy that I've done enough work for one day and I'm going to save my form for later. To do that, you can simply click on save for later. As you can see, my progress have been saved and I can return to the form anytime in the future to complete it. So I want to go back to my dashboard because I've just thought of something that I'd like to put on the form and I can click on the water form. However, if I don't want to do any more work, I can simply log out using this menu in the top right hand corner. Or if I want to have a look at things on the Green Skills website, I can go to visit site here in the top left hand corner. I'll just show you what happens when I return to my form, which is that we're back at the last stage that we were at, which was the action plan. So I'm just going to run through the next couple of steps to show you what happens at the very last step. You can navigate between your steps using the previous and next buttons. So the very last page asks you for your feedback and it also asks you to just do another quick checklist before you press submit. The submit button is final and after you press submit, you can't continue to work on your form. So before you press submit, make sure that you're very happy with everything on your form. At this stage, we also ask you to let us know who conducted your renewal visit. If you haven't had a renewal visit, please contact us to talk to us about who would be the best person to get out to do your visit. If you have, let's pretend that um, Tom Murphy did your renewal visit and then you click the date. So let's say that he did it in January 2018 and he did it on the 17th. And then if you want to upload anything else, any documentation that you think that we, you'd like to show us that it doesn't have, doesn't fit in easily to any of the other steps. If you have any photos from your action day that you'd like to share with us, you can upload them in this field. And then at this stage, you can click on save for later if you want to just go through your form one more time before submitting, or you can press submit. I'm gonna click save for later because I haven't completed the other steps. And then I'm just gonna go back to the home page and see what news is happening in the program, or I'm going to log myself out if I'm on a shared computer. Thanks for watching.